Hello there, once again, my awesome viewers. It is your lovely host here, once again, it is Team Rai Rai. Now, before I go any further, I was just wondering, anyone out there on social media had a chance to watch the video from earlier today? If not, smash a bell. You will get a notification from YouTube. Now, if that doesn't work out for some flipping reason, excuse me, I don't want to burp on camera. Hit the subscribe, hit the like button, share it with your friends. The article will be down below, and same thing from the one from earlier today. My other social media accounts will be down below. Also, don't hesitate to check out this video and the one from earlier today. Now it is time once again to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like it, sorry, if you like, subscribe. Give a like and all that other stuff. I just lost my train of thought for some damn reason. Now, let's get on with this. I will discuss once again wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. So sit back, relax, be free to grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't do like that, maybe you want to like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And of course, the article will be down below. Let's rock and roll. Now, everyone knows by now. That Raw Smackdown, it does not have a lot of star power, and that is pretty pathetic. It is because they can't make new stars. They have to bring in the W Future Hall of Famers, legends, to draw in crowds, okay, to sell tickets. That is kind of pathetic, but whatever, okay? We just got to deal with it. Anyway, WV is still planning on calling up stars from NXT. Now, whoever they're going to bring them up, they might be very successful, or they might be AK job, be jobbers eventually, okay? Now, I don't know if these guys or gals were very, very successful in NXT brand, but I guarantee whoever get called up, they will be a nobody, okay? It all depends who the hell you are, because McMahon runs his whole entire company okay it's sad you know he needs to step down permanently he's hurting the business okay i don't know if you guys agree with me or not i still watch the WWE. it's not as good like the good old days but like i said before everyone's so used to the add to era the russian aggression era and the golden era now this is in my opinion the pathetic era it is awful but we just gotta deal with it or watch something else Besides wrestling related. Anyway, so um, let me read this, okay? Everyone knows that NXT is moving out of the W network and moving over to the USA network so starting September 18th to take over SmackDown Live, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. So this will be a third brand and... Let's see if this is going to be a fail or a success on um, NXT going to USA Network. I think it will be very successful. Hopefully it's very successful when they were on the WWE Network. Now they got to deal with stupid commercials. I don't know if they have to deal with any commercials on um, the network. They should just leave it on the network and that's it. But it's all about competition. They want a competition, compete with AEW. They say they're not, but there are. What's the odds that they want to be on the same night as AEW when they make their debut? Come on now, it's so stupid. So, um, let me know what you think about this. So, but if Triple H, I mean, if, if Vince McMahon does take over, goodbye NXT. And you guys, it's going to be the same position as Raw and SmackDown. Not very good. And people are going to complain about it. And But still, people are still going to tune in. You know? Every time I watch Raw, when Raw's over, people are complaining left and right about Raw, SmackDown. Dolly does not give a crap whatever you have to say on Twitter. Okay? You could tweet about them and all that good stuff. You could, you could bash your company. Their company. They're not going to respond to you. 
And how do you know it's it's really McMahon really tweeting? You don't know that. There's no camera in front of, front of them, so they need to fix their product. I'm still gonna watch it. You know, I'm a supporter. You guys probably jumped ship a long time ago. Anyway, I know I don't make no sense. Let me know your honest opinion on this article. Everyone out there, enjoy your rest of your Friday and have an excellent weekend. Bye bye.